Welcome back everyone to Alpha Racing League. We are here at the Suzuka circuit in Japan for round three of tier four season one. I am your host commentator GSR 8F1 and my co-commentator is GSR FH 444. How you doing mate? Sorry, I just had to put my audio there quickly. Oh uh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, good to be back for more tier four action. This evening at Suzuka, this is arguably one of the greatest tracks on the F1 calendar. Tell you something, I've grown to love it on this game. It is so much fun and I am very quick around here, let's just say that. Yeah, it's a um, it's a good circuit. It's the only figure of eight circuit on the um, on the track. Of course, that makes it unique. But also an another thing we've got to mention is um, we have a new driver on the grid. Um, the former Sam Malicious, he has replaced it. Replaced it? No, replaced. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> replaced. This um, gonna be a long night. GSR Grosjean. <laughs> He's replaced GSR Grosjean at um, at Haas. So um, let's hope he can um, he can get his season off to a good start. Fingers crossed. Yeah, of course. As we are Haas members, we of course we were in that party before, and Sam did say he, he's he doesn't feel confident into this race but you know I hope for his own sake that yeah he could do well and get a good point on the ball because he is a GSR tier 3 now full time which is later on tonight obviously I don't really want to try and promote that anymore though of course Ted out being biased towards my own league but you know uh, yeah he's definitely got some good pace um, and I'm looking forward to see how he does do here tonight yeah uh, fingers crossed he can um he can do a good job. Oh, that's another retirement. Aaron Ocon has crashed at Dunlop. So, unfortunate for the Alfa Romeo. Let's hope he can get that back in the race. So, topping our times at the moment, actually by quite a big margin, is uh, CJ. He's um, in the McLaren. Then, of course, we have Florian Foley in the Williams. Only... Only five people have set representative times at the moment, interestingly. Then we have the two uh, racing points of Thrasher and Alpe. And then Burning Man, of course, we're waiting for the uh, for the other drivers to set a lap. Joseph is just coming up to the final chicane now. Gets it in nicely. On the mediums, interestingly. So he's clearly, he might be going for the alternate strategy. The light, decent lap for the Mercedes. Yeah. He's just gone fourth place. Um, he's almost a second behind Thrasher. So the top three, oh, even the top three are over that close because Thrasher's the second down on C. Oh, is CJ going to get a convincing pole today? Possibly. Um, that could be the case. And all Dear Sink has gone off because he's just got some fabric damage on the front left end plate. I don't know where that might have it, been. I think it was at turn, I think at eight. I'm not. It's, hold on, if I can, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like that, it's that long left hand up for the two Dagners. Dunlop, then. Dunlop, thank you. Yeah. So. Anyway, if, at the moment, um, the Hazard, he's just going on to a lap. Of course, um, that, um, that curb on the, um, on the entry of turn three, extremely deadly if you, um, if you either touch it at the wrong angle for me it's oh thrasher hang on well he he, <coughs> he almost held up hazard but luckily he didn't so the hazard will keep going then under the um, yeah under the top of the track and uh, the hazard the hairpin. sorry is on the lap yeah. um yeah he's just oh i don't have the stream yeah, I'm on my phone so i can't really tell Anyway, so he's uh, go to spoon curb now. Now, oh, he suddenly touches the grass there. Just use all the curb he can. That's actually not that bad. Through the middle face of the corner, he's hit the gravel. He's hit the grass. His, this is not looking to be the best lap of all time. As he has messed up a few areas of it now. Going through 130 yard. This is one of the most spectacular courses. We've seen some brilliant overtakes. Bonzo and Michael Schumacher back in 2005. And now then, the Hazard, going through the final corner where there used to be that horrible bump. And he goes up to the line, it's 129.6. That could put him high up the grid though, because no one really is getting in 
really good laps. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Sam uh, is on a lap using no ERS for a bit, though. Top of top. Oh, they all. Kurt. Is it Kurt? This is confusing. Um, the furthest one up the track at the moment. So, the McLaren just coming through Spoon then. Up towards 130R. Of course, just coming up to the second sector split. It's a decent time from Curtis. So, can he get stopped into the chicane? Nicely done from the McLaren. Out of the chicane he comes and can he can he set a new fastest time? Can he can he knock his teammate off the off the front? Yes, he can. By just a tenth of a second. Good job by the McLarens at the moment. Yeah, one two at the better for the McLaren team. Oh, someone's got off. That's Alpe. Jazzy. Shazzy, that's very, that's close. At the top. Yeah. Four thousandths of a second. His teammate then, Sam. He's not on the best of laps. I think he might have made a mistake somewhere. Because his second sector is um, not great, to put it lightly. So. It's going to be. In, yeah. As I just said. Tom Katori then is on a lap now in the Renault. Going through the hairpin. It's a um, it's been an okay start to um, start to a season. Of course, I um, you'll have to update me with the results in China. Um, oh yeah, FH. Yeah, of course. Because um, <laughs> I'll get I'll get them up now. <laughs> uh, give me a second. So of course, last time I see Japan won his first race of the season. Uh, Shazzy and Grosjean did get second and third. It looked like Grosjean was trying to hold up um, CJ in a way so Shazzy could get the whip in. Uh, it didn't really work though. Tom Katori got fourth place last time as you were asking about him. Sink got fifth. Tommy Karate kept up his good point scoring in sixth. Joseph got seventh. Curtis eighth after a good recovery job for going off at turn two. It was. Errol Aaron O'Con got ninth at the Hassan with some questionable driving got tenth. And then in the championship standings, Tommy still leading. Oh, sorry, no, right, no, that is China's one. Uh, so Tommy leads, then CJ, then Tom Katori, then King V Mafia, Shazzy, Errol Aaron Ocon, Grosjean, Sink, Fake Fiery, and Curtis are your top ten. At the moment, it seems like there's a um, there's a little group because because the top four are separated by just a tenth of a second. Then you've got four tenths. Back to Florent and a further six back to Thrasher. So clearly, clearly only four of them have managed to get it right at the moment. And um, I won't mention our uh, team thing because we're forbidden to do so. But you know. Anyway, um, pole man in um, in Bahrain. Um, Sink is just coming through Dunlop at the moment. Yeah. What does he do in the first sector? It's a decent time. He's invalid. He's invalid. At probably oh, yeah, at the yeah. first step. No. What else is happening? Tom Katori is going to put like CJ starting a lap now. The man who won the previous race in China. So I do know he does have a wheel. So this is probably going to help him. A fair amount going into this race. So there's some yellow flags in sector one. That's even Joseph or your boy Lewis. Will they hold Joseph him up? In the pit. They're just going to go off the track. So. Thank you to your boy Lewis. CJ runs through Dunlop. Very nicely done indeed there from CJ. Going into Degna one. You can take this flat out if you try hard enough. He doesn't though. Um, but he does get actually the second thing there. Very nicely done there. Going into the hairpin. That's a very clean exit from CJ Pants as well. Going through Deece. the right hander, uh, going up into Spoon Curve. This is the course where Verstappen and Vettel, sorry, eight, had their collision in 2018. I had the biggest delayed reaction when watching that race, um, when that actually happened. So, yeah, here we go, oh, CJ right. Pants. Quick second afterwards. sector, two temps up. I think that is actually true, to be honest. Now they're through the final chicane. You can take the curve right here, especially through turn 17, then through turn 18. Going up to the line, he takes the inside line. Will he get pole position? Yes, he does, yep. by two temps. Yeah, um, King V Mafia has just shown me something. I don't know what. I think it was his incident. Um, I'm not... 
Well, I mean, I know, I know, I am a, I know, I am a tier four steward, but not at the moment. I'm not. So, I'll we'll just have to put that on hold. Pull, I don't know. Give you math if you're watching this. Um, just put that in a ticket there. Well, what happens? So, uh, I don't. Well, I mean, I think he was showing how he, um, how he retired from quality. Ah, okay. Because he's what? I'm guess gonna guess him and Rice Cracker. Um. Uh, how to come in together. Oh, why are two out of the three sectors yellow? Now they're green. Here comes Tommy Karate then. He's a little bit down in the um, in the first first sector as our championship leader. Through the hairpin he comes then. Now up towards Spoon. It's been a decent lap so far from the from the American. Doesn't touch the grass, which is good. Good stuff there. Uses all the curb on the yeah. exit, exactly what you should do. Then, doesn't look like he's really on the pace at the moment, because he's, yeah, there we go. He's over a second oh, down. He's off the pace, but oh. it's not the end of the collar yet. So I don't know, he's probably just going to be coming into the pit lane, getting his set of tyres on. Well, who is on the pace, though, is one Curtis Faded. He's um, he's on it at the moment. He's a tenth up, so and purple middle sector, so he could have a <laughs> teammate. Is saying that because McLaren one two, it's um a bit bizarre. But through the final corner he comes. Then. Oh, he's close. Very close. He's just a little bit off his teammate CJ Pants. As he's on an out lap as well now. Florian is actually on a lap time. Now, what could Florian Foley do? He showed his pace in the preseason testing, but didn't make China. So now this That's is good. his um, first race back since the opening round of the season. And can Florian take a surprise, maybe second row? Wouldn't be a surprise, actually. Be pretty expected. Up to the line he goes, and it's only fifth. It's all about lap time. Fifth place, clean start of the grid. Very nice stuff there from Florian Foley. Joseph on a lap as well. Going through the hairpin, that hairpin is awful. The traction out of it, I found it is yeah, very the so, worst very much so. place for traction. Oh, Joseph, the wall. oh, he really touched it. It's like there, that's what you're meant to do, and that is going to help us run through up before the 130 r where the mini pit lane is as well, just there. And then Joseph heading through 130 r flat out, of course. Easy nowadays to take that flat, even not in the wet conditions, but you could definitely take a flat through the wet now. But anyway, so Joseph through the final corner. What's this time gonna be? It's gonna be a 128.3. That's good enough for seventh place. Out Al pays 1.1 second up, seconds up. So it um it could be a decent result from the from the racing point. Out the final corner he comes. Then thankfully there's no bump there anymore, but. Across the line he comes Seven. then, he goes just ahead of Joseph, three tenths ahead of him actually, but, but that doesn't really make a lot of difference as the gaps are pretty big at the moment. I don't think Curtis is going to be doing another lap. Shazzy then. Oh, has his own. Oh, Shazzy gets all out of shape through four and five, but yeah. manages oh. to keep it together. His first set is not going to be great because of that. Yep, he's three tenths down already. Sure. Can he make it up though in the second sector? Of course, you never know. He could still make it up. It's unlikely, very unlikely, if you're going to make up three tenths. But he, you always got to try in these situations. But it should be a second row, no matter what, at this stage, I'll say. Okay. And it looks like the McLarens will lock out the front row. There's a Mercedes of Joseph going wide. Will that distract Shazzy in any way? No, it won't. Shazzy. Going through Spoon Curve now. CJ Pants is also on a lap. Just so you know. So he's going to try and go quicker. Quali done. Shazzy. He's a little bit down. If He could gain a bit of time through this final sector to just secure that third place on the grid for the race today. Shazzy I reckon the final he could corner. go further than that, you know. There oh, you go. Ball. What oh, did I say? Oh, I did not expect that. From Shazzy, wow! I, I, I mean, 
That's amazing. Great job for me. Well done. He gained for half CJ a now. back. A fair plus. CJ's said, up though. There is a chance. And so he did it. If he just nailed that first sector though, he could have had Paul. For sure. Oh. He's just going to have to hope for CJ Three. to make a mistake. Here comes CJ then. He's coming out of the final corner then. Who will it be? Will it be Shazzy or will it be CJ? Oh. It's CJ. Just about as yeah. well. Just gets into the 26s. Tom Katori take, gets fourth. Tommy Karate, though. He's six tenths up. Wow. Tommy Karate. Can he take pole position here? Be one of the most unexpected pole. Oh, He's pole. only got, he got it. Pole. Done it. Now he got pole. I saw it. It's pole. <laughs> okay. Turns out neither of the McLarens are going to be on the front. No, oh, oh, yes, they are. Never mind. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, because I thought shit. There we go. So Tommy Garrett then snatches Pole away from GSR CJ Pants and Shazzy. I can't quite believe that, Quali, wow. gotta be honest. That was um, unexpected. <laughs> fourth fourth then's the other McLaren, Curtis Fader still a very strong very strong qualifying the McLarens. Then Tom Couture in the runner is fifth. Florian Foley in the Williams is sixth. Seventh is Alpine in the racing point. Eighth is Joseph in the Mercedes. Ninth is Sam Malicious in the half. Tenth is GSR Thrasher in the racing point. Tw 11th is the Hazard NFO in the Ferrari. 12th is Burning Man, the Rebel. 13th is Jaboy Lewis in the Mercedes. 14th is Aaron Ocon in the Alfa Romeo. 15th is King V. Matthew in the Red Bull. 16th is Rice Cracker in the Renault. And 17th, and running off our grid, is Sink in the Alfa Tauri. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was unexpected from Tommy. Six temps up. That is incredible stuff there. It's kind of like, um, I'm not trying to sound cocky here, but I am basically being cocky. I like my lap in um, Japan Tier 3 in GSR Season 4. Like, well, how, how much did I get pulled by? Like a second, was it? That was in the wet, I swear. No, that was, all, that was in the dry. Well, my poles were, uh, I'll, I'll, and, ha I'll uh, have to check that after the race. Anyway. I, know, I know I remember it was dry because it was a decent lap and my reaction was just like, yeah. I remember commentating it. Yeah, I remember rap seeing it. <laughs> I remember it's pretty much the first time I spoke to you. Yeah. Yeah, it was. When I was in the. Then the bromance has formed ever since. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, on, yeah. on that bombshell, um, pr predictions. Um, predictions, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'll go. Okay, I'll go first. I will flustered. Um, I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna say Florian, uh, for my first one. Uh, he hasn't, he, of course, he didn't race in China last time, but he has shown his pace um, this season. Uh, he starts some sick faces there. He's not the end of the world. Um, but yes, Florian, there is a chance. Um, also, I'm going to see someone from outside the top 10, because why not? I'm going to see Aaron Ogon. Uh, this is mostly because he can. This has happened a fair few times, I've seen. He, can, he, he just about makes his way through the field unscathed. In a lot of races, and it looks like I reckon he could probably do it again today. And I'll say one more. Let's go for. I'm going to go for CJ. That was so close to being pole. If it wasn't Tommy Karate's absolutely extraordinary lap time, that would have been pole for CJ. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the grid with my predictions. Um, Tommy could Tommy Karate or pole man. Um, I. I reckon he could be within a shot of getting um, of getting his second win of the season and of course extending his championship lead. But but of course C CJ will be hungrier than ever to try and um, to try and get his second win of the season as well. But of course then we've got Shazzy looking for his first win of this season and the first win for us Has boys. So then um, then we um, then we have Curtis in the, um, the other McLaren. I personally reckon um, Curtis may be a bit of a backing for uh, for CJ, considering um, CJ clearly has the upper hand. Well, I mean, in quality, he, he, Curtis might have an advantage in the um, on race pace, but we'll have to see. Tommy Tommy Katori still could be within a chance of winning this race, but uh, but of course he's um, he's got to of course get get past the very quick um, four at the front. Then. Um, then the other Williams, the Florian Foley, again probably going to be a backing for um, for Tommy Karate if he can get up to up to there. Then you have the first racing point of Alpe. Pro he's probably looking um, to score decent points today. He hasn't really showed he 
Well, I mean, he, he could surprise us like Tommy Karate did in, um, in qualifying, but we'll have to see about that. Joseph Dent, of course, the first of the Mercedes. He'll be looking for uh, for some decent points. Then we have Sam Malicious. Um, he'll be looking have for his first points. Every single driver. I'm I don't so know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I'm like, freeze enough, man. I can't <laughs> see the lights. God damn it. Right. I'll, oh, they're uh, going. Up to lemon. Here we go I then. Fire red lights. Lights out. And away we go. It's a it's a really good start for Tommy Katori. Tommy Karate, sorry. He <laughs> managed <laughs> He matches. Get away. Curtis Faden is up the inside of Shazzy. Oh, it's a mistake off in the he, background. And he managed to get it done. Oh, oh my god. god. I'll just take yeah. over. Bobby Karate you know, having the lead through the S's for the first time. GSL Seager Brands managing to stay in second place. Curtis got, he had an awful start. There's a race to pull off at the back. Oh, and that's great. Alpe. Alpe is off. He could be out of the race oh, already. Cracker. Florian tried to keep up with Tom Cat Tory. You keep on saying Tommy Ka Tommy Katori. Just see no ways. Um Joseph in seventh crash at eighth. It has a ninth. Errol Aaron Ocon manages to avoid the chaos again. He's up to eleventh. Yellow flags in section one and two. Sam is off. Recent crack is off, and our payball got off of the opening lap. But Tommy Karate, though, he's only three tenths in front of CJ. So CJ keeping up with Tommy at the minute. It's gonna be close. I tell I tell you what, this um this this race could honestly be won on penalties because, well, although although stick isn't the hardest track to cut, it's definitely possible to cut it. So, um, so we'll have, so have to see about this. Oh, Tom Katori, um, Shazzy, Tom Katori really trying close. to go on Shazzy. Shazzy shuts the door on him though, he can and they it. um they stay in position. So at the moment, the best the best start of anyone is King V Matthews up six places already. So it's been um it's been a Oh, oh, right. Tommy Karate's disconnected. Um, um, no, 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 that's the, a timing no, glitch. No, no, don't. That's don't a timing worry. glitch. Oh, I got, I got so worried for his own in. sake. The hazards in um, to, for a new wing. As will be Sam Malicious. Tom, yep. Katori, and um, Tommy Karate are both ghosted for me, but they're definitely fine, it seems. It is Tommy Karate in the lead, followed by. Oh, my God. CJ, then Curtis, then Shazzy. Shazzy's all over the back now with Curtis Faze as well. He's really close just, to him. He's yeah. closed in on I'm this. Just waiting for the grid to sort it, sort itself out because. Yeah. Because, um, just. Uh, yeah. Wait for the so it's just now. from second onwards now. So, yeah. Tommy, he's in this race. CJ second, of course, as I keep on. This is a habit of mine. Just repeat itself. Joseph, close behind Florian for sixth place. Will he make a go go down into oh. the chicane? I mean, at the end of the May lap. Potentially. Um, that's voice break one. Right. Um, this, oh, lovely. Um, Joseph, he's, um, he's, used a, he's used a lot of OZ. He's used over half his battery already. So, oh, I've, as have most of the drivers, to be fair. CJ is still right on the back of Tommy Karate. But, of course, oh, oh he gets a massive snap. He's going to have... Oh, right. I, I, I just said it as he has DRS. And, Joseph's you know, got uh, Florian nice and easily there on the main straight. Not quite. I don't, yeah, he's just going to back out that yes, move. Keep the seventh place. Fresher has as he's decided to race. Ava Laren Ocon up into 10th at the minute. But Curtis, the, the whole top five is separated by 2.2 seconds. If Toby gets a penalty, that'll put him down to fifth place at the minute. So this is really going to be a close race of the wind tonight again. I can got, just feel it. And so it's off for the first section. It's a red ball. It's burning. That's man. burning, and man. And it's cars out. Everyone should be pitting Ooh. at this stage for the medium tyres because they can all make it to the end now on those set of tyres. Oh, that's, um, that's shaking up the race a little bit. Well, I mean, of course, of course the top four will be close. But, but, now, but now they'll be... Um, even closer, so, um, but of course, this now may actually help Tommy Karate because he's gonna, he's gonna have an extra three laps to try and get away, uh, before the, uh, for the DRS comes, True. uh, becomes active again. Saying so that, another shot of getting away hmm. by one, by over one second. So now, because there is a safety car, I'm gonna take a look at the Twitch chat because why not? We've got nothing else I've, to do. Um, now. I've never got why the, um, why the rundown to 130R isn't a DRS zone? 
Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. I, I don't get that. Now that you mention right. it, yeah. In yeah, they come then. So everyone's going to be pitting now at this Ooh, stage. Curtis is going to be held up a lot, so I reckon Same that's three Florian. positions for Shazu there. I don't... Sam Sam won't have to pit again, but he's still going to be near the back. So it's unfortunate for him. Curtis is going to lose so much time. Because he, he, he had to double stack with uh, with CJ. So that so that means now Shazzy is now up now up into third place. How much has that affected Kurt, Curtis's position though? He's down in eighth. Oh. Ouch. King V Mafia's up at seventh as well. So yeah, good he stuff from him. Third. Ouch. Now that, down to eighth. That is pain there for Curtis faces. To be fair though, he would have lost more time if he hadn't pit pitted under safety car, yeah, exactly. probably. So. Also, yeah. Um, hi, Ax. <laughs> he said hi. He just, he just said hi, F hi, FH. So hi, Ax. How you doing? Um, yeah, Tommy. He's managed to keep his lead during the pit stop. Shannon's up to first. Joseph. That's getting two places. He's up to fourth. He's up to fourth. Game four. Tom Katori, <laughs> or as you say, Tommy Katori, is in fifth, so he's kept his spot. Florian's up into sixth now, so he's going to place. The, uh, the biggest loser out of that is Curtis. <clears throat> he's lost five places, but it could be worth it for him. Uh, he's got better pace than the guys in front of him, so he sh could, should be able to get a fourth for this race, I'd imagine. Fingers crossed. Any oh, your boy Lewis gets a five oh, second dear. for run to, run to the back of sink. Yeah, it's AI. Uh... Yeah, that, I think that could be appealed. Uh, I'll, be, be. I'll be having a look at that. If he puts up a ticket. It seems like Sink has just not had the pace he had in barring qualifying. He just, he, I don't know why. He just, yeah. he just doesn't seem to have great race pace. It's, it's strange, but they might actually be going this lap because they're because they're all stacked. Oh, up. oh the hazard. No, they won't go um, this lap. They'll always do oh like my. three. Te technically three laps so the first lap the says cars has one then the, then the second one then the third one so there'll be another one there'll be another lap I've, I've known the safety car do two laps so yeah like two laps behind the safety car like this is their first lap behind the safety car I get that but I'm including like the lap when it deploys let's get deploys if you get one of me yeah, yeah and yeah. also the um, also the concept of um, of the safety car having to come in with um, with two laps to go actually in um GSR Tier 4 Hungary, uh, not Hungary, Austria, what am I on about? Aust Austria, um, it, I mean, um, it used to be a country at one on... stage, Austria, Hungary, so... Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. There so... you go, geography lessons with FH. It's actually history, but alright. Oh, you get what I mean. Carry on. <laughs> I'll please go on to another set of softs. And, well, okay. may as well, you may as well just try and get the fastest up at this yeah. stage. Yeah, you might as well. So what are we going to say about yeah, GSL for Hungary? Because, of course, they've got um, air off. Well, Austria. Austria. Sorry. Austria. The same yeah. Um, so, um, so the safety car, I think, came out about lap 33, I'm going to say. It was a very late safety car. Yeah. And it didn't come in until lap 35, out of 36. It was, it. It's, it was bizarre. So, Which, unfortunately, um, Grosjean hits Lafrat, which ruined his race. Mm. But... What? Yeah. Also, such J25. So... Yes, this is great banter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Great banter. Great banter. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, right? Uh, who is going to make the biggest? Water guy. I know, right? <laughs> I've, I've watched both seasons. You know, I'm such a legend. In the third episode, the cow went on top of him. But anyways, um, back to the actual racing itself. Um. <laughs> We can don't have time for comedy round here. <laughs> right. Can <laughs> CJ get the jump Tommy Karate in, um, at the re Ooh, it's restart? Because it is a possibility. Of course, Tommy, though, he's going to have to get a really good restart. Uh, let's see, runs a commentary. Tommy warning count. Actually, yeah. Let's get the ball. It may as well, actually. Oh, Tom, Tom Katori. He's, um... He's hit the wall. He's, He's got that... damage on his front left. That's wing damage. That's Safety damage on car's his front in left. then. So, Tommy Karate then. I got that right this time. Where Tommy the Karate car... then. <laughs> is, um, is 
is controlling the pace and it's um, it's not a very long final sector here at Suzuka. So is when is Tommy Karate going to be going? He's going now. Oh, he's got burnt legs in, I think. He hit the grass slightly. And serious our CJ pants. Closing it on him down. Can he get Tommy down into turmoil? Tommy weaving all over the place. That's Try to just keep it back. Out. Shazzy also pretty close behind uh, CJ pants as well. It's actually a pretty clean uh, Sage Car restart. Thrashes up the inside of Curtis. But, does, but doesn't make contact, thankfully. Oh my goodness. So this has been oh, the cleanest reset good. ever. Caesar's a clean reset. Uh, Sasha, but he said, where did the code come from? That's him. Basically, oh, side by side between oh. GSR. Sorry. Side right. by side between GSR. Oh, Thrasher man, this is good. Aaron Ocon. Oh, it's gonna... still side by side. He has to oh, back out there. Your fellow Irishman is giving him, giving him a good run for his money. Gone. But he doesn't. He doesn't. And now Sink, Sink is going for him as well. Sink is going round the oh, outside. It's really a dive bomb. Ah, oh, I can't make it. Sink he hasn't quite got it though. Are they going to crash? Oh my god, they're close. Oh, they almost pushed him onto the grass. Oh, they do oh, touch it. More parts of party there. They will have no cuts on the grass. Sink's brilliant move. Oh, wow. Round the outside. And he's, and he's got him. Dodgy. Oh, and that's how Sam Lesher's off. Um, King V Mafia then. He's got Florian. Going up to 130R. King V Mafia then. He's got up nine positions now. He's... Gained a huge amount in this um, in this race so far, and that that of course wasn't with the help of DRS because for some reason that straight doesn't have it. But Florian, then he's he's gonna have a go back. Oh, oh, I'll let you explain where the cow came from in a minute. <laughs> but the, oh god! Oh my god! King me Mafia. That was somehow close. managed to hold it. Anyway, uh, now things have calmed down. Um, tell us about the uh, Alan Partridge. Basically, in the third episode of the series, uh, there was these people that hated Alan Partridge, and they uh, got a dead cow and chucked it on him when he was on the river in Norwich. There we go. That's where the cow came from, such day. Oh, someone's off. Nice. It's uh, Frasher. Frasher's off. Frasher's off, and that could be his race done. I think he has front wing damage as well. He has. That's going to hold up Reese Cracker. And the hazards. Oh, Sam he's Reese Cracker. As well. And he's just done a very nice drift there. Risa Cracker has, wow, to avoid that. Sam Malicious then, his debut is not going well at all, which is unfortunate. Oh, oh, Tick away as well. Wow, he's, yeah, oh, poor Sam. Tommy though, he's slightly pulling away from CJ, and CJ just cannot keep up with Think him, it seems. Curtis. Um, up to 130R. Sink easily gets that done out of Spoon. Uh, Alpe. He's, up in... he's gonna go for Aaron. He has to have a bit of a here. Alpe. Oh, they make contact there. So, oh, we're barging. Aaron Aaron Ocon forces him off the track. Alpe has to go off and get a three second time penalty for it as well. Aaron Ocon. Oh, he's hitting a boy, Lewis. This is a really aggressive and feisty racing, shall we say. Aaron Ocon though, keeps the Lewis back. Lewis tries to set. Well, down the inside cannot do so. Yeah. Aaron O'Connor though goes wide. Your boy Lewis. We're doing anything. That's TV Mafia is out. out. Oh, what a shame. He um he he, he gained up oh, that's a VSC. He gained up so many positions. Unfortunately, he's been it at Dunlop. It turned at the exit of turn three going to turn four. That's where he's been. Oh, uh, never mind. No, it's just before but uh, Dunlop. That's both what? Red Bulls okay, out. So both of the Red Bulls yeah. around this race. So that is no red points for Red Bull. Oh, what a shame. That will not help them in the Combined Structures Championship. Actually, we never even mentioned the Combined Constructors Championship. Because, of course, Irish Aaron Cracker has... gets a drive through. Oh, dear. Shazzy, though, he's got a brilliant exit on CJ. He's going to have a go then. Shazzy then up the inside. And he... No, not quite. But CJ said on Tommy. He's... <laughs> Shazzy's no! up the inside. This is close. Uh, into, the, into the chicane. He doesn't quite get it done. But this is phenomenal for the, for the top three of this race. Of course, Joseph not quite been able to capitalise yet. But he'll get his time. 
And, and it's no wonder because CJ he only has 10% errors <laughs> compared to Shaz, he's 50%. So. So you get pet lane. While I was mentioning the uh, combined constructors, may as well just mention now. So Williams are on top. There's McLaren. Red Bull, so that's not going to help them because they're two DNS today. Alfa Romeo, Haas, Racing Point, Ferrari, Renault, Avatari, and Mercedes. And the Preds by only five points. How, how Aaron O'Connor and your boy Lewis didn't, didn't go off then because they went on the craft through Dunlop, but oh, wow. they managed to they managed to keep it um, keep it together. Meanwhile, we'll uh, we'll get back to this top battle because it's um, it's remaining heated. Not gonna lie, that's Rice Cracker again. Yeah, he's struggling now. Um, not be the best. Been a great race for Rice Cracker, Tommy. I was going to say Tommy, Tommy Karate, but I was going to say Tom Katori. He's had a decent race, but Florian's right behind him as well. Uh, but Shazzy, so close to CJ. That could be a warning, I think. Can he get a good exit? Oh, he's lost time. And now CJ pulls away. He is safe for another straight now. Just. And Tommy Karate, 14. The championship leader with 33 points. At the minute, looks like, I'm going to say looks like, he could be extending that advantage. Frasher, three second time penalty. Alpe and Curtis fighting away now. Can Curtis get back past Alpe? Alpe? He's got over a second. He, he almost had over, over a second. Sorry, he's cut you in there. But um, but CJ, he's now, um, he's he's really struggling on his Urs count because he's he's only got 10% and Shazzy. Once, um, once um, Tommy Karate gets out of DRS range, um, that that will be Shazzy's time to strike. Three seconds he to will... sink. So oh, he's got the gap down to half a second again, though. Clearly, clearly the um, clearly CJ has quite a low aero setup, so he's um, he's he's keeping up with CJ at the moment. No, sorry, yep, yeah. never mind. But of course. Tommy Karate is going to have, um, he's got the Earth advantage, but only just now because, of course, as his Earth drains away, that is... That's fresher, yeah, that's fresher. Sink then goes past Florian. He's, he's making good progress once again. <coughs> Christ, my voice. Sink. And I reckon he'll probably get Tommy. Yep, carry on. Are you okay today? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. It's it's tying. I'm fine. Okay. Just I know it sure. is. Just making sure. I don't know. Why oh, sinks really close to the back of Tom Katori. But he doesn't quite get it done. CJ is he's still remaining within a second of Tommy. So he's not letting it slip away. And Shazzy's actually dropped back a Tommy's bit. Tommy's got no warnings. Neither does CJ. Neither does Shazzy. So this is gonna have CJ's then. gonna have to win this race on track. He has to get he, well. He has to pass Tommy to get the win on track. Surely there's no way he can get three warnings in three laps. I don't think he will. Reese Crack's got three seconds on penalty. Saying that though, the gap, the gap's now down to just half a second between Tommy Karate and uh, CJ, but. Tommy activates activates the overtake out of um, out of spoon. Thrasher He's Thrasher eventually pits, retires yeah. in the pits. Um, it's impossible for a safety car to come out now though, because we have two laps to go. This race has gone by quickly. Yeah. But Tommy Karate still doing enough at the moment in order to take his second win of the season. Our first repeat winner. But of course I will not bottle him. I I, I will not sorry, not jinx him eh? because because he's, um, my grammar's just completely off today. I mean, yes, anyway. You don't want to jinx him in case if he bins it. That's what, what yeah, you're trying to much. say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, thought so. Well, well I, I kind of want Shazzy to do well, though, so you know. You can't. Shazzy's. You, don't say it on record days. Come on. I can cut that out. <laughs> oh my god, whatever. It's Shazzy, though, he is pretty close out to CJ. Surely CJ can hold off though, because Shazzy, he is catching up this lap. 
But CJ does seem to have better pace, but Shahi does have more overtake to use. And Tommy looks like he may have this win now. Shahi, though, could possibly get seconds. He's using his overtake. He's getting on CJ. He could possibly send it now already. He won't, though. I would assume, though, surely he can have a go going into 130R. Surely there's a way he can do it. He's, probably, he's deploying it already. He's going to... He's going to have a go. Down to 130R goes Shazzy. He doesn't quite get close enough, though. CJ's actually low on fuel, which is interesting. But can oh, Shazzy dear. try it up the inside? Oh, he's... He goes for he's it. it. Oh, he's hit him. Slight contact between the two. But Shazzy and CJ just about to avoid a massive collision. But that's going to cost CJ the win no matter what now. Shazzy, can he get second? He's, He's got, got a second. It's going to be close, so will CJ back out? They both got DRS. CJ just about has some map back yeah. out there. Oh, that's close between the two. Oh. But that has most likely got CJ to win now with that small little tap between him yeah. and Shazzy. So Tommy. Tommy Karate look, then. Oh, I think Alpha's okay, slightly gone wise back. Tommy well. Karate then. I think he's got it in the bang now because he's out, he's out of DRS range. It's gonna be, it's gonna be yet another win for the Williams. It, well, I mean, I presume so. Yeah. If he, if Second he gets win. to, the, if he, if he gets the line, it's gonna be yet another win for the Williams boys. Oh. Axel. Oh. Um, <laughs> Axel. Um. Axe is happy. <laughs> yeah, Axe. Axe will be very happy if if he gets yet a, yet another win this for his team. This will be Williams' sixth win of the season. They're sick. Wow. Let's just put that into context. Finger already. coming, Tom Katori. Sink is off. He's on the gravel. Oh, oh and Sink. Heartbreak for the Avatari. Oh, oh he's done. He would have got two points. But Tommy Karate, right, then. Gonna Here we go, then. Two corners, I'm gonna Tommy this. Karate. Out of the fire, out of the fire of chicane he comes. It's going to be yet another commanding drive from the Williams. Tommy Karate extends his championship lead because the first repeat winner of ARL Tier 4 Season 1. A brilliant drive from actually the top three. Chassis then comes home in second. GSR CJ Pants comes home in third. Fourth is Joseph. Decent points for the Mercedes boys today. Fit. Fifth is Tom Katori. Sixth is Florian Foe. Seventh is Alpe. Eighth is Curtis Fader. Ninth will be Aaron Ocon. Tenth will be your boy Lewis. Eleventh will be Sam Malicious. And twelfth and our final runner will be the Hazard. Again though, what a race these tier four guys put on. And it's Tommy Karate again who wins. And he is looking like the man to beat in this championship. Yeah, it's... Looks like it's going to be him versus Shazzy versus CJ Pants. And what an enthralling battle that will be for the title. That was an incredible race to watch. Of course, it is the saying that, well, if you're enjoying something, time goes quicker. So I'm telling you something, I enjoyed that race very much so. So, yeah, yeah well done to uh, oh. Tommy, though. That was oh, a With... <laughs> really good win. Uh, I know Shazzy Axel does yeah. I think we have to get him in. Oh God! Oh, yeah, another two. one. <laughs> wow! What did you say? Uh, another voice break. <laughs> oh. God okay, I didn't even realise. Okay. The um, yeah, Axe, the top two. Axe, Axe has got to be happy with the um, with the team he's got with um, with Jack and now Tommy is um, I'm Whamman. He's got yeah, I'm oh, Whamman. I, I have he's something to see for tomorrow. Three, three out I'm of the four. Three out of the four championships is being led by the Williams. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, we have our um, we have our we have two of our um. Yeah, Shazzy does enough on mic, so driver. that's why. All oh, right, okay. Can get in, yeah. Uh, so just make sure so to do your please, CJ and Tommy. Yep. Cheers. Right. All right then. So we'll be, we'll um, we'll first of all talk to our um, third place man, um, GSR CJ Pants. So it was a, um, it was, it was another consistent drive for you, um, for you today. Um, do you think, um, do you think had you, um, had Shazzy not, not been all over the back, you could have challenged Tommy for the win? Oh, I don't know, I can't really blame Shazzy, except for that dive he did into the chicane, that was pretty stupid. But, um, I don't know, my ear rest just depleted extremely fast, which I just couldn't catch up to Tommy, so he must have just been managing it really well. 
and he was just able to pull away. So I can't fault with anyone except Razzy, really. But yeah, I don't know. Quite annoying. Yeah. Any anyway, it's um it's been a consistent season for you so far. For sure, um you win in uh, and um and now your third place here. Um, do you um do you reckon you can um with a um with with a few more good results you can out contender? I don't know, possibly. I just need to work on my consistency, and probably, yeah. Right then, uh, FH, do you have anything um, to say to CJ? Um, not really, actually. I think you've just covered everything. So, uh, uh, but I just got to say, well done on the podium, CJ. Um, maybe next time you. you could possibly get a win in Azerbaijan. Um, oh, God. But yeah, good race for you today, so well done. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Then we'll then we'll move on to our winner, Tommy Karate. Hello. First repeat winner of um, of ARL Tier Four. Um, again, it was a um, it was a great um, it was a great drive from you there. You're uh, you clearly look, looking like the um, the guy to beat um, at the um, at the moment. Um, does it um, does it feel good that you've um, that you've got another win in your um, in your pocket specifically for the championship? Yeah, I think, you know, we might have a good shot at the championship this year. I know it might be a little early of a call, but I think um, I really found my pace so far. And, you know, it's kind of only faster from here. China just wasn't really my track uh, last week. So I'm pretty happy to get the bounce back win here. Anyway, it was, um, it was, um, it was pretty close in, um, it, well, bo both in quali and in, um, and in the race. Um, did you... Um, did you um did you practice a lot a lot for this race or are you are you simply good um good at Japan? Uh this is definitely one of my stronger checks because I am on wheel, but um I didn't I did a little bit of practice uh two days ago with uh some of the boys on the Williams team. So they're kinda of just giving me some pointers on how to take the S's a little smoother and such. So I had I actually felt pretty confident with T C off during quali, but I figured I'll turn it back to medium for the race so I don't make any blunders, and then I just kind of manage the gaps from there. So I put a little bit of practice in, but nothing too major. Anyway, um, extension of um, a championship lead and a, um, another fantastic drive for you there, mate. Um, FH, do you have any uh, questions for our race winner? Uh, yeah, how does it feel just to, you know, be winning all these races and helping Williams in the, uh, the combined constructors championships at the minute? Because... Williams have won six races so far this season in all tiers. Uh, so how does it feel right now? Just it's different from last season when I was in tier three. I was kind of struggling to get uh, some wins, but I did get some podiums for them. But this just feels great for the combined constructors. Definitely, this could be huge. So I'm just happy that uh, me and Florian could uh, take some points away, mostly every week. Yeah, well done. The win that was uh, another fantastic trip from you today. Yep. Advice. All right then, so that's um, that's it then from um, from us for um, for tier four. Um, then um, then join us tomorrow for five UK, um, twelve um, EST, and then tier two at seven UK and two EST. So um, so for now, I've um, I've been GSI F1. My co-commentator has been uh, GSI FH Triple Four, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.